second feeling, I think I feel lucky. Lucky that I grew up differently and that I don't have to go through things that these people that I met today, that I don't have uh, or had to go through that same experience. Good morning! This will be one of the rare English videos in my channel because I'm here in Milan for a very special occasion. But first, let's grab a coffee. So, I'm here for Carnegie Arena. It's supposed to be the most groundbreaking virtual reality experience ever. It's about the suffering of refugees at the Mexican-American border. I personally know one person that has done it and uh, he said you have to experience it for yourself. It's very, very special. I've read a few articles about it and they all basically were in the same style of fashion. It's revolutionary, um, there were people crying on the floor, just closing their eyes and so on and so on. So I figured I have to see it for myself and that's why I'm here. Mamma mia! This complex that Fondazione Prada built here in Milan is not only huge, it's also beautiful. Watch this. Ticket office. Is this the main entry? Yes. Wow, this is beautiful here, look at the floor, this is all wood, all really special materials. Here a little bit of gold. This is most probably the craziest bathroom I've ever seen in my life. So, a bit of waiting time. Um, it's maybe a good time to thank Dominic for the tickets because I couldn't get Carne Arena tickets. The website was completely overloaded and Dominic, through his connections, got me the ticket. Thank you. I just checked in, got my ticket, talked to the press office. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to film in here, so I will see you later. Trying to find the right worlds. Worlds, words. So, major sentiment I feel sad. I've done a lot in VR, but this was pretty intense. And it was intense because of the steps that you uh, go through in the experience. Second feeling, I think I feel lucky. Lucky that I grew up differently and that I don't have to go through things that these people that I met today, and I, I say that deliberately I met them today in virtual reality, that I don't have uh, 
or had to go through that same experience. As a, as a quick summary, this was by far the best one I've ever done. And it clearly shows the potential and that is also why this thing, this experience has gotten the Oscar. It shows the potential of virtual reality and entertainment and why we need to build places where you can uh, experience that. Because what I did today you can't do at home. Because it will not be likely that you can visit this experience in person because tickets are sold out and the demand is incredible high, I'm going to tell you what I experienced today. After you handed over all your material, you go through two big doors into a dark room where you read why uh, Inaratu has produced that VR experience and he has done it because uh, he was told many many stories of refugees at the Mexican border that had a big big impact on him it haunted him and he wanted to tell these stories and uh, the only way he could really do that was in virtual reality because in virtual reality you can do things that you can't otherwise and then you walk on, you uh, cross the door and you get into a very depressing room. It's completely concrete, it has uh, benches where you can sit on, uh, out of metal. Gives you kind of a prison feeling. I felt, I felt strange in there. The light was very cold, I would say and distributed throughout this room um, along the benches are things that they found on the Mexican uh, border um, that can be shoes from, ad shoes from adults, from children, uh, water bottles and so on and so on. Then it's written in big letters that you have to take off your shoes and your socks and uh, put them in a locker. I did that. It's winter, it was pretty cold and uh, I think that added to the experience because I had my cold feet on the cold floor and waited for an alarm to sound. That happened after a few minutes and uh, I entered a big dark room. The, the room was covered with sand and in there were the two people that uh, basically introduced the backpack PC that I'm gonna wear and the head display. From there, you are inside the desert of Arizona. So you basically see a family um, that walks towards you. They are exhausted, they are not well. They see a helicopter far, far away and they make a quick stop and you are in the middle of that experience but you don't have a physical body. So you see everyone else but you yourself, you are a ghost, you are you're just uh, looking. Then the helicopter comes, it rumbles badly, you feel a lot of wind and you feel the flash of, uh, of the helicopter. And at that time, a car with Border Patrol officers comes with weapons pointed at the refugees, tells them to get down. They all get down on the floor, the Border Patrol officers go back and forth. I tried to avoid them, but one walked right into me. And when they cross you, when you look inside the body, you see a real heart pumping. So my... Uh, interpretation of that is no matter if it's a refugee or a border patrol agent they all have hearts you get another flash by the way all this is animated so it's animated as you would animate in a game and based on my observation it's very well done so you see the expressions on the face you see the suffering of the people you can get very close to them and it looks really really good then you're pushed back between two sequences where you see also a boat um, that uh, flips off and the people are um, dying in the river. And uh, you, you get a flashback to the other um, experience where still the people are threatened, are taken with the border patrols. 
and then suddenly it switches and you are in the spotlight. So you get a gun to your face. Um, was not sure at the beginning, I looked around, okay, there was no, no one else standing, so he really meant me. Said, I should get down on my knees and not move. And from there it fades out and you are completely alone in the desert. You feel the wind and it ends and the backpack PC and the glasses are taken away. What did amaze me there was it had a big impact on me and uh, from there on I felt sad. I walked out and uh, the story didn't end there, then came the interviews. So you had a very dark room with little boxes um, in the wall with uh, screens in the back and you see images of people. And the special thing about that is uh, these were the actual people that I saw earlier on uh, in the animated experience. And you learned how the person crossed the border and uh, how they ended up, if they have a legal status now in the US, if they are still illegally in the US, if they are back and so on and so forth. In there you also have a border patrol officer that tells his story about the nightmare he has, the suffering that he saw, like for example people that ran out of water and died um, on their way over. He had a very strong statement in there. If, if you don't feel about this, I don't want to talk to you. There is nothing that brings the reality of the suffering so close to you as uh, this experience. If you get the chance, I would recommend you watch it or experience it. If you have questions to the experience, write me down in the comments, or reach me on uh, Twitter or Instagram, I will be glad to answer them. Now I have to get home and uh, I wish you a nice day, a nice evening and see you next time. Bye!